Optics for Hire, OFH, will describe progress in their cancer treatment technology. Today we discuss improving a type of prostate cancer treatment, prostate brachytherapy, with software that detects radioactive seeds in intraoperative ultrasound imagery. OFH is a product and technology development company with offices in Boston and Europe. Can you find the brachytherapy seeds in this ultrasound image? Radiation oncologists and urologists place 80 to 100 tiny seeds into the prostate. As more seeds are added, the blurry picture becomes more difficult to interpret. If the seed locations could be better known, it would be possible to tr better treat the prostate. Here's some context. OFH's technology enables soft tissue surgical planning and guidance. Today, medical procedures are performed on two types of tissue, rigid, like bone, or soft, like prostate, breast, or liver. Most of the body is soft tissue. But soft tissue therapy is difficult to guide with respect to a preoperative plan. This is because the organ changes shape and looks different than the plan. In, for example, prostate brachytherapy, it's particularly difficult to see where the seeds are in relation to the prostate. Here, OFH describes the first success of software that uses computer vision algorithms to identify seeds. This technology was acquired from Actuality Medical in 2009, which had been developing it since 2006. Transrectal ultrasound imagery is used to guide seed placement. It's difficult to see the seeds because the imagery is noisy, has many reflections, and some seeds are not immediately visible. OFH scientists captured raw ultrasound data, improved its dynamic range, created a 3D data volume, and used a support vector machine pattern matching program to find seeds. Collected 10 LDR procedures, trained the recognition algorithms, and used intraoperative CT for quality assurance on seed locations. The experimental setup was as follows. Actuality used a BK ProFocus 8848 probe that was retrofitted with an accelerometer on the brachytherapy stepper. Many terabytes of procedure data were collected. So let's look at these advances and how it fits into cancer treatment. First, some comments on soft tissue guidance. OFH's software can help a variety of soft tissue procedures, starting with prostate brachytherapy. In LDR brachytherapy, 80 or more tiny radioactive seeds need to be precisely placed in the prostate. Let's represent this with some grapes. One challenge is that the prostate swells or otherwise deforms during the procedure. Because of this, the clinician's plan no longer matches the outcome well enough. This can result in overdosed and undertreated regions of cancer. OFH's image analysis software could be embodied in a treatment product like this. A rolling cart contains a PC, ultrasound probe, and brachytherapy software. It's likely that a tiny disposable would be used each procedure, which helps convert the ultrasound data into 3D information. And of course, prostate surgery is just one of many possible soft tissue procedures. LDR brachytherapy is challenging today for many reasons. For example, even if a seed is placed in the desired location, it can migrate due to forces within the prostate. Presumably, you already understand LDR brachytherapy. There are some variations on this procedure, but in short, a physicist and oncologist make a treatment plan 30, uh, 0 to 30 days prior to the procedure. Often, this plan is obsolete by the time the patient uh, arrives in the OR because the prostate may change shape. The seeds are placed, during which time the prostate and seeds move. Later, the patient is scanned to determine where the seeds are. Advanced clinicians will touch up any undertreated cold spots with more seeds. If extra seeds exist, studies have shown that this can lead to significant side effects. Here's one example of where seeds end up just after the procedure. How do we monitor seed locations during the procedure if the ultrasound imagery can't differentiate between seeds, echoes, organ walls, and needles? OFH's answer is seed finding software. The plan is made when the patient is in the OR. After each needle of seeds is inserted, the ultrasonographer does a volume sweep to see the prostate and seeds. OFH's software has better fidelity than B-mode ultrasound because of various high dynamic range proprietary algorithms. Seed finding software locates the seeds. 
though symmetry can happen in real time, telling the physicist of hot or cold spots. The plan can be updated during the procedure. This knowledge may result in significantly better seed placement, despite seed and prostate movement. This slide shows what the prostate looks like to the doctor. Here's a typical B-mode image of a cross-section of the prostate. Many bright regions are visible, but these may be reflections or noisy echoic regions. Here's a quiz. Look in the rectangular region in the center. Are these seeds? Spacers? How many are they? Let's take a closer look. Well, according to the OFH and Actuality software, there are five seeds and one hollow spacer. The seeds are shown outlined in green. The first element of the research is freehand capture of 3D prostate volumes from 2D ultrasound. The other blocks are the training software and the seed detector. OFH's technology includes a small accelerometer which is attached temporarily to the ultrasound probe or brachy stepper. It can be disposable. When the probe is turned, software clarifies the accelerometer data, gives an angle to each snapshot, and assembles a 3D volume. Also, the data is very high fidelity because the raw ultrasound is used, not B-mode. Raw ultrasound has better dynamic range than B-mode. Here's a movie showing an acquired 3D prostate volume rotating. After a volume scan is done, a GPU creates a three-dimensional volume of the prostate based on the underlying prostate data. This is what the computer interprets when it recognizes seeds. Next, let's look at how OFH's algorithms were trained. We acquired 10 procedures and trained our algorithms in a custom software application. The application, called Perspectiseed, lets you replay LDR procedures like a VCR. You can train the algorithm by picking or tagging individual pixels as seeds. Also, a list of the seeds is shown for ease of quality checking. Once you have a 3D volume and expert knowledge of the real seed positions, you can start detecting seeds. We did this in a group of algorithms called a support vector machine. It is a multidimensional pattern matching system. As of this time, it has been trained on several patients and tested on one patient. The results are very promising. The input data of one ultrasound slice is shown here. The algorithm identifies the seeds and colors them green. I evidence of nearby seeds in other ultrasound scan planes are depicted with red and yellow pixels. This was for experimental purposes. Let's watch a video of the algorithm during a procedure. Here, you can see the instantaneous angle of the truss probe, shown in radians, and this is a graphical depiction in a clock dial. As the probe is rotated, that clock dial moves. Here is the rectum of the patient, and here is the region of the prostate and the urethra. Identified seeds are highlighted in green. For reference, this has been overlaid with CAT scan data. The CAT scan shows up as blue contours. This is only for reference during quality assurance of the program and the pattern recognition system. This data is of course anonymous. Let's return to the presentation. <coughs> the training works best with intraoperative CT to make sure that the appropriate features are tagged as seeds. Of course, the prostate deforms slightly between ultrasound image and CT image capture. The slight seed movement is shown here, as depicted by these red and blue vectors. This is also proof that our work included all seeds for this patient. The details of the algorithms are proprietary, but to give a sense of its complexity, here's wave level data of two seeds. The rainbow pattern corresponds to the evolution of the acoustic wave packet from the ultrasound ping. The wave packets were unwrapped and aligned when needed during training. The long vertical lines are a seed width apart to aid the expert human training operator. In summary, OFH is proud to share the exciting and promising initial results of the brachytherapy software it acquired from Actuality Medical. Please contact us at john at optics4hire.com at any time. Thank you.